Hi, y'all. Do you occasionally find yourself needing to turn a small piece of wood that's smaller than the chuck you've got? Let me show you some options. Let's say it's something the size of a pen, pen blank, uh, but you've got to be able to turn off the end. Why would you want to do that? Well, there's any number of uh, projects that call for those things. Maybe it's a tiny bird beak. Maybe it's a uh, tiny little, little uh, bird. Perhaps it's the perch on a on a birdhouse Christmas tree ornament. There's any any number of of reasons. Uh, perhaps perhaps it's uh, an insert uh, out of bovine ivory uh, that you want to put inside a uh, uh, a knob as, as an insert. All right. So here's here's how we're going to some of the ways we're going to do that. Now, one way, if you have a chuck, maybe you've got a set of pen jaws and that will work for you uh, or it's an option for your chuck uh, sometimes that'll work for uh, small square items or even small small round items something like this that you couldn't ordinarily hold in in maybe a larger uh, set of jaws such as these 35 millimeter but that, that's one technique the other technique basically you take spindle scrap drill a hole and you take little scraps of exotic woods that are too small maybe to hold in your chuck. Uh, maybe you don't have a collet chuck and they're too good to throw away. So uh, you just put a little tenon, make a little recess, and glue it in. Uh, put it on your, uh, the spindle on, on your chuck and line this up with your tailstock to get it centered and put a little pressure on it. Round off the uh, piece of wood you're going to be using, or in this case bovine ivory, that is dog bone. <laughs> uh, so it'll fit and then glue it in there with either a little carpenter's glue or a little little CA glue and that, that can work work very well. This was a little piece of ivory, uh, a bone that was cut out with a hacksaw and then kind of squared off and the file just a little bit so it would have some contact on the on the sides. The other way that I find most effective is of course a collet chuck if you have a collet chuck uh, and that works great uh, as long as you turn the pieces of wood to the extent that they'll fit your predefined collets. Uh, my collet system, uh, I did a review on that if you want to go back and, and review the Apprentice collet uh, video. Uh, it comes in, I think, a quarter inch, three-eighths inch, uh, half inch, five-eighths, and three-quarters. And it holds very, very securely. So those are all different ways you can you can uh, turn those small items. Of course, one option is always to uh, use a larger piece of piece of wood, but that's uh, it'll fit your regular chuck. But that's not real practical when you're using very expensive uh, exotic wood such as ebony or or African uh, blackwood. Uh, I'll have a link to that uh, review of that collar chuck if you're interested. Uh, I hope this has been been good for you. If you like this video, please uh, uh, hit the the like button. If you're not a uh, subscriber, please consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell so you won't miss future future uh, videos. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.